Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, with liquor, shells, debt, slice, horse, peasants, vassals, minions, meat sacks. I'm useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, let's go to Syria now and uh, talk about this new uh, uh, policy of President elect uh, Donald Trump. And he's talking about uh, changing things drastically in Syria. And uh, it could be a very interesting development, possibly a positive development. And Assad has already signaled that he sees uh, Trump as a potential ally and not a foe. Uh, in this fighting this battle in the terrorists because he knows that it's one of the uh, policies that Trump has talked about during the, the campaign. And now we have Trump also uh, 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 in contact with Russia discussing uh, a new policy in Syria and perhaps assisting uh, 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 President Assad of Syria and the Russians in fighting ISIS and the so-called terrorists. And Trump has said that he, quote, he does not like Assad at all, unquote, but he's being very pragmatic about the situation in Syria. And uh, I, I think it's a, a interesting to see such a drastic change in just one foreign policy move already. And uh, right now, uh, it seems fairly smart. Uh, but one of, one of the results, of course, immediately is going to be the moderate factions, so-called moderate factions there, and Al-Qaeda factions, and all the uh, Free Syrian Army and all the rest uh, must be very nervous right now at the idea of having being cut off from support and uh, weapons. And that's one of the... Uh, important aspects of this, I, I think, that uh, needs to be explored a little bit more is the fact that if Trump is going to, or the United States, let's focus on uh, this is U.S. policy, not about Trump. If U.S. Uh, policy changes to the point uh, where we are going to support uh, the Russians and their efforts there supporting the Syrian government to take on ISIS and get rid of ISIS in Syria, then I would imagine all U.S. special forces and all these uh, U.S. supplied weapons uh, would stop immediately. And so for all intents and purposes, the United States would be uh, withdrawing, uh, may even withdraw air support. I haven't heard anything about that. But the idea that all the boots on the grounds and the weapons would we be withdrawn um, is uh, uh, certainly, pro um, I would say, a, a good step. One of the reasons why I say leaving Assad in power is certainly palatable now is first of all the realization that uh, look what we might have ended up with uh, replacing the Assad government in Syria far uh, uh, less acceptable than than um, than Assad although Israel signaled that they would rather have a bunch of terrorists next door than Syria necessarily um, but it takes a strong man to hold that country to, together and, and Assad would continue being a, a strong man and so we wouldn't have to worry about necessarily the that level of destabilization and ending up like uh, what ended up happening in, in Iraq, for example. And the other thing is that uh, ostensibly, uh, it looks like, at least for now, Assad would be neutered. He's no longer uh, quite the regional threat and um, is, is not a, a regional a power, although I, I could be wrong. Perhaps they could uh, reconstruct uh, fairly quickly. But uh, like I say, this would be a dramatic uh, shift of policy in the region, really something interesting to see. And one of the other things that's going on right now to note about Syria, too, is that uh, uh, Russia is using uh, airstrikes and cruise missiles from aircraft carriers off the coast. And um, so this is a notable and historic uh, military development for Russia. And I think uh, uh, fascinating to watch as they duplicate uh, tactics that, that the United States has used repeatedly for decades, uh, using those uh, same sort of uh, uh, tactics and, and weapon systems. And uh, so... Uh, good for them, as as it were. But uh, I guess that's all I really want to say uh, right now. Uh, an interesting step uh, to see uh, in Syria, and uh, one of the few drastic changes in foreign policy I've seen for a long time. And uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, one first step. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?